Let's take a look at how to process a return in Salon Iris. If you're using the desktop version, go to the appointment book and click onto a time slot. Find the customer who's doing the return, which could either be their name or if you want, just click onto walk in. Next, click onto the ID column in the ticket. Make sure that you're viewing products and you can switch that from here and then select the product from the list that the customer is returning. The other option is to scan the product with a barcode scanner if you have one set up. By default, the software is going to think that you're selling this product, so we need to change this. Click the type column and scroll down just a bit. You have two options. You can either choose product return, add to inventory, or product return, do not add to inventory. The difference here is the type of return. If the item they're returning has not been damaged or used, you could resell it if you wish. Or if the product's been used or damaged or anything else, and you don't want to sell it again or can't sell it again, this is why you'd use the product return do not add to inventory option. In this case, this product's fine, so I'll just click the first option for add to inventory. You can see at the bottom of the ticket now, it's showing the refund amount that the customer will get. Select whether this is a cash or a card refund. In this case, it's cash, and the next thing I'll do is click on to check out close. Instead of processing the return from the appointment book, you could have also gone to the ticket screen and then followed the same steps. After you've done a return, and if you'd like to see any further details about it, you can go to the reports menu and we can run a totals report. You can find that by clicking on reports and then select the second option, which says sales totals and sales tax report. You could run this for any day that you wish, but in this case, we don't need to change anything here. So I'm just going to hit OK. And we can see here where we did the product return and it shows the amount. If I click onto this, we can see some further details. 